hello welcome back to this channel in this tutorial I want to take you through the Johansson cointegration test and I am going to explain how to perform the Johansson cointegration test in starter and also how to interpret the results of the same and we have said that for Johansson cointegration test it is performed where we have a time series that has all variables being non-stationary at level but also they are all stationary at first difference so you must ensure that there is no variable that is stationary at at the second difference or that is integrated of order two all the variables must be integrated of order one and we perform the Johansson cointegration test to determine if there is a long run relationship among the series and this in this video now I am going to explain how you perform the Johansson cointegration test now I have my data here and in this tutorial now I am going to use the variables the log of domestic debt the log of external debt and the log of GDP these are the variables that I am interested in now since we are working with time series data we are going to first of all set the time and I have set the time my, my data is yearly and it is running from 2001 to 2020 after that we say that after we have tested the stationarity the next step that we do is to determine the optimal lag so we have to do or to, to determine the optimal lag before going to the Johansson cointegration test since we need to determine the lag that we are going to select for the Johansson cointegration test so we use the command var soc then log of GDP then log of DD and then the log of ED now the results show that the optimal lag that has been selected is 4 and the criterion that has the least value is AIC so in our Johansson cointegration test we are going to, se to select a maximum le lag length or the optimal lag as being 4 now in performing the Johansson cointegration test you go to statistic or use the menu go to statistic then to multivariate time series then down to cointegrating rank of a VECM after that you get this so you select the variables of interest I've already selected that is the log of GDP the log of DD or domestic debt and the log of external debt and then the maximum lag is 4 then go to reporting and select report maximum agent value statistic then click submit or ok now we have the results and the results for Johansson cointegration test are as in this window now we say that or oh, with the decision criteria that we use in determining if there is cointegration of the if, or if there is no cointegration is that we check the trace statistic against the 5% critical value 
and also we can use the maximum agent value statistic again is the five percent critical value and the narrow hypothesis for the johansen cointegration test is that there is no cointegration and the alternative hypothesis is that there is cointegration and in and the and in order to determine if there is cointegration we check the trace statistic and if the trace statistic is greater than the 5% critical value then we do not reject the null hypothesis and therefore there is no cointegration but if the trace statistic is less than the 5% critical value then we do not or we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is cointegration the same case applies for the max statistic a higher value or a greater value of the, the max statistic that is greater than the 5% critical value will mean that there is no cointegration however for a for a value that is less than a, the 5% critical value then it means that there is cointegration now in our results we find that at the maximum rank 0 and 1 the trace statistic 97.65 and 18.83 are greater than the 5% critical value that is 29.68 and also 15.41 so in that case we conclude that there is no cointegration uh, uh, where we have or for equation for 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 maximum rank 0 and maximum rank 1 but when we come to the maximum rank 2, the value, the trace statistic 0 0.05 is less than 3.76. In that case, we say that there are cointegrating or there is cointegration in two equations. Or at the maximum rank 2, there is cointegration. And we will do the same. For the maximum statistic and you find that at maximum rank 0 and 1 the max statistic is greater than the 5% critical value but when we come to the maximum rank 2 the value 0 0.0534 is less than 3.76 and therefore we would say that there is cointegration at maximum rank 2 or in two equations so that is how you interpret the results for Johansen cointegration and in our example here we would say that there is cointegration and if there is cointegration then we are supposed to estimate both the short run and the long run relationships but if there was no cointegration then we would have had to test only the or to estimate only the short run relationship now i hope you find this information to be helpful and if so then please watch out for the next tutorial where i am going to explain how you perform the bouts test from ardr in Stata and also how to interpret the results. Thank you and bye.